Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. Last week, we created Christmas tree eyebrows. I made Christmas tree eyebrows. Whoa. And well, something pretty cool happened. People started talking about it, trying it, making it their own. Overall, people are liking it. Well, most people. Vogue's hard to please. And it got me thinking. We need some sort of summary of the trends for closure purposes so we can move into 2018 with grace. So I scoured the internet, sourcing the top most beautiful trends. If you were wondering what they looked like all together with a Christmas twist, because well, it is the season, I'm going to show you. Full face Christmas tree makeup. There's a method to my madness, hear me out. So what I basically wanna to do today is incorporate all of my favorite beauty trends of 2017 into one look with a Christmas twist to just end the year with a bang. You saw last week we created Christmas tree eyebrows, which is essentially a combination of the feathered brow trend with the barbed wire eyebrow trend and adding some Christmas decorations, color if you wish to, stars, and boom, we have Christmas tree eyebrows. So if you wanna see how I did that, I will link it below. I'm not gonna show you guys again today. I've been there, done that. So we've got the eye area covered. We're gonna move down to the nose and go with my favorite nose trend of the year, the nose hair extensions. If you take that, add a Christmas twist to it, you will get the Christmas tree nose hair extensions. Yeah. I think, I think that, I guess that would be the name. So to do that, first you wanna take an assortment of eyelashes of different lengths, and you can paint them a color if you want. You can go au naturel and keep it the same color as your hair, um, up to you, either with paint if you feel like sniffing that, or um, mascara, green mascara, or I used a matte lipstick, whatever you want. I guess all are quite toxic to sniff, so. Once they're all dry, you're gonna start with the shortest ones to make the top of the tree. Get your lash glue, and you wanna form a circle, but the key thing is you don't want it to be a circle going outwards. You wanna stick it so that the circle, the lashes are pointing down like that. So you don't want it to be out more down and straight. The straighter you get, the better. Now that the nose is done, the next trend we were blessed with this year for the lips was the furry lip trend. I never got to try this, so I'm excited to do it now. I'm gonna put a little Christmas twist on it, of course, and turn it more into a wreath. You're gonna need some flocking powder, which is kind of hard to find, to be honest. It's probably best to order it online. I also contemplated using cotton for this or something else. If you can't find it, you could get creative with it. You don't have to necessarily use flocking powder. But if you do have access to it, by all means. So what you wanna do, just lay down some matte lipstick. And while it's still wet, just pat it on. Down your 
her throat. All right, so we're looking good. Now it's time to decorate it. While you're singing carrots, right outside my door. All these things and more, baby. All these things and more. Oh, that's what Christmas means to me, my love. That's what Christmas means to me, my love. Next thing, the final Christmas tree item is our eyebrows. I'm gonna do them exact same as I did before, but in green color. At this point, you guys might be wondering, why don't you just make your whole face a Christmas tree, cover your face in green? And to that I say, that's a little bit tacky. Um, one thing I must say, you can't eat or drink with these lips. It kind of gets stuck everywhere. So if you're thinking of wearing this to a Christmas party, I wouldn't unless you're not gonna eat or drink. But the other ones are fine. There's just one more thing left to do. Christmas There's nothing else that I will need This Christmas Won't be wrapped under a tree I want something to last forever So kiss me on this cold December night Alright, I think this is a good place to just stop. Um, today's actually a really exciting day. My sister's in labor. She's bringing a baby into the world right now. I brought this into the world today. The worst feeling out of all of these is the lips. Surprisingly, the nose doesn't bother me at all. I can breathe fine. The lips feel so crusty, so dry. Pieces of it keep flying all around. Some keep going down my throat. Thank God these are here actually because they're not going up my nose. It actually helps in this situation. So try one look or all three. Either way, let's keep the weirdness going. I can't wait to see what you guys do with this. Be sure to tag me and I'll be commenting and reposting some. Thanks for watching. Bye!